It's Fun Day Trivia Stars and we've got a little UK-centric update for you. Now we've been experimenting with letting others in our game but they just didn't understand Durham, Emma or her chips. So we've made a change and it's just us now in the UK and Ireland. So shout out to London, Bristol, Cork, Cardiff and Falkirk and all the rest of you players right now. HQ Trivia is putting the fun back into Monday's Fishtail Eyebrows, anyone? Instagrammers are going nuts for fishtail eyebrows. How many of you have them? How many of you want them is the bigger question. Now they're a bit daft, but not as bad as that squiggly eyebrow trend. That was just super bad. Now if you wanna walk around looking like Spock, this one is definitely for you. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your quiz queen, and babe with the bank. Talking of unsightly hair, Mullet Fest 2018, yes really, Mullet Fest, took place in Oz over the weekend. Hundreds of mullets competed in categories from everyday to grubby. Ooh, grubby mullets. Just don't get me started on beards, boys. Now for the game, you know the rules. 12 questions, the first ones are easy, and then they get more prickly as you progress. You've got 10 seconds to get each one right. If you get all 12 of them correct, then you are gonna be winning some dosh tonight. That is for sure. Now the prize tonight is a lovely stash of $750, enough for a visit to a top hairstylist to bring your mullet back from the 80s. Okay, things are about to get hairy right now. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. Q1. The fourth Friday in November is also known as Witch Big Shopping Day, Easter Sunday, Blue Monday, Black Friday. That fourth Friday in the month of November. Big shopping day. Retail therapy. Now the Brits love a good cue, but even we have gone full America on this one. Thanksgiving's chaotic Boxing Day is Black Friday. Don't throw any punches there, guys. 32,910 of you are thankful for getting that one right on Q1. Now, despite the whopping sales on offer, Black Friday is the day when shops finally turn a profit, going from in the red to in the black. Q2, which musical instrument is often referred to as a six string? Guitar, flute, piano, a six string. Which musical instrument? is a six string. Now a baby grand is small, but you'd need a really tiny piano for it to have only six strings. Coming out strumming is the guitar, of course, known as a six string. 32,049 of you are playing the right tune here on Q2. Six may be the norm, but you can go as high as 18 strings on a guitar, leaving no notes for anyone else to play. Now players, this is an amazing, amazing country for six strings. Who is the best player ever? Is it Clapton, Beck, Thompson, Page, maybe a Yank like Hendrix? Who is your pick for guitar god? All right, strumming on to Q3. Which of these actors played Daniel Cleaver in the film Bridget Jones' Diary? Sean Pertwee, Hugh Grant, Robert Carlyle, Daniel Cleaver in Bridget Jones' Diary. He showed no remorse to Bridget, but this British actor has been apologizing ever since for that and more. The stumbling stereotype himself is Hugh Grant, who played Daniel Cleaver. And we are granting a win to 29,510 of you there. Actress Renee Zellweger's performance earned her an Oscar nomination. She didn't win, but it still makes for a great diary entry, doesn't it? Q4. Martin Crane was the father of the lead character in which TV program? Seinfeld, Frasier, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Martin Crane? In which TV program? They were all top sitcoms, but only one of them reached Crane Heights. The Cheers spin-off, worth a toast. It's Frasier. Martin Crane was the dad in Frasier. 21,948 of you. Cheers to you guys for getting that one right. Now the show ran for 11 years, picking up a whopping 37 Emmys on the way. Though I'm sure Frasier would find some way to sulk about that, wouldn't he? Q5, scientist Nikola Tesla has an airport named for him in which country? Croatia, Serbia, Hungary. Nikola Tesla, he's got an airport. 
named after him, but where is it? He was technically born in Croatia, but this country claims him as their native son, Belgrading to first class. It's Serbia. Serbia for the win here on Q5. 8,034 of you got that first class win. Now, Tesla has had many things named after him, including a crater on the far side of the moon. Good luck catching a flight there, though. HQTs, why are you all suddenly so fascinated with cans of toner? Such niche interests. Okay, moving on. Q6, which of these leaders of the opposition never became UK Prime Minister? James Callaghan, Hugh Gateskill, Clement Attlee. Never became PM. One of these gentlemen right here. But which one was it? Three Labour leaders, but which one failed to lead them into power? Seven years of second fiddle. It's Hugh Gateskill, that's who it was. Never became PM. 4,929 of you have the power in this game in your hands right now. Although never Prime Minister, he was the Chancellor in a previous Labour government, so at least his frisbees got into number 10 from next door. We are halfway there, players. Q7, which of these dance troops were the latest to feature on Top of the Pops? Pan's People, Legs & Co, Zoo. Do you remember these dance troops? They used to appear on Top of the Pops. Video may have killed the radio star, but it also killed the last of these dance troops sent back to the wild. Zoo. Zoo was the latest to feature on Top of the Pops. Did you get that one? 1,908 of you still in the game. Nice work. Now the troops' final dance was to what I got is what you need, something the BBC unfortunately didn't agree with. Yeah, they were out of there. All right, who's ready for Q8? Which of these countries is not landlocked? Bolivia, Laos, Mauritania, not landlocked. Which of these countries not landlocked? Bolivia, Laos, or Mauritania? Why, you won't be getting a sea view in two of these countries. The only one boasting a coastline is Mauritania. Boasting that coastline right there. 896 of you boasting that win. Now, more than a bit of sea, the West African spot has over 750 kilometers of coastline. Really rubbing it in the face of those landlubbers. Q9, which of these names is not usually given to the fusion of a potato and a tomato? Pomato, tomtato, tapato. The fusion of a potato and a tomato. They all sound utterly ridiculous, but somehow only one of these names is wrong. You say tomtato, nobody says tapato, because it's a made up word. We made that one up, guys. Four th well, 477 of you took the fruit there. Now these franken plants save valuable space in gardens and fields. Plus, who doesn't want chips that come with their own ketchup? How convenient is that? Q10. What was the first country in the world to recognize parkour as an official sport? United Kingdom, Russia, France. Parkour. Who embraced parkour as an official sport? The city has always been their playground, but now it's official. Leaping out of France, landing properly in the United Kingdom. UK for the win here on Q10. Savage question. Pure and utter savagery. Just 66 players left in the game. Now, athletes move through complex terrain like this game as fast and efficiently as possible. Sounds like what we're all trying to do in rush hour, doesn't it? All right, now 24 players have used their extra lives to get back in the game. Well played, players. Q11, which of these platforms had the most users as of September 2017? Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Which platform had the most users as of Last September, Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter. I know my favorite. Now, a photo says a thousand words, but a really good one says 800 million users. Instagram, we are talking about cropping the others out of the picture. It's IG. 
and 38 players are still in the game. Winner filter at the ready. We are moving on to the final round. Here we go, ladies and gents. It's Q12, 750 USD for free. On the other side of this queue right here, 38 players. Good luck, guys. What does a herd of African buffalo follow when deciding which direction to travel? Smell of water, loudest male voice, majority rule. A herd of African buffalo. What do they follow? Now these creatures are pretty amazing. They've got unique curly horns, loud voices, and great noses as well. When it's time to get a move on, what's their method? They point in a direction and they go with the flow. The minority follow. The majority rules. Majority rule for the win. We have seven winners, my darlings. <laughs> Massive congratulations to our seven winners. Well done. Each of you is taking home $107.14. We've got Sean Cuds. We've got Tin Guts One. Metal Guts over there. Y1000. We've got Bobster, who are looking quite serious there. And yeah, Abby, not anymore. Not after this win. Lobby86. What are you guys going to do with that grand amount of cash right there? You could get your eyebrows done. So many styles to choose from. Or we'll finally cut off that 80s mullet. Bobster doesn't have one. Wow, what a hair raising ride. Well done, players. Now, lots of ladies out there like beards. Kissing a man with a beard is like going on a picnic. You don't mind fighting through the overgrowth to get there. There's even a band out there called Beard Sniffer. Yeah, it's true. All right, don't split hairs, guys, especially if they grow above your eyeballs. We will be back in full bearded swing tomorrow at 3 p.m. In the meantime, you can find me on the socials. As always, find me right here on IG and Twitter as well. Stop by and say hi. Until then, have a great night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.